Okay, last news in Pakistan. So, yet another girl in Pakistan abducted, forcibly converted, and forcibly married to her abductor. At the end of April 2020, a 14-year-old Christian girl, Myra Shabazz, um, was reportedly abducted and forced to marry in Faisalabad, Punjab. The latest information, sorry, the latest information suggests that she was forcibly converted and married to her, her abductors. Although a national database and registration authority certificate has been produced confirming her age, a marriage certificate contradicts this, stating her age as 18. A typed statement was also produced, allegedly made by her, stating that she left home and married willingly. The case has yet to proceed through the courts. Uh, this is the news that Hindus tell us that we never report. So I mean, I was I was actively looking for right. Hindus in the comments just to <laughs> see because they asked me like, "Yes, this stuff is happening in Pakistan." But yeah, we always I, report I didn't it. find so many. I was surprised. Yeah, Not well, fine. because they they ignore the fact that when we cover the news that they like, they never they say nothing. But every time they cover the news that they don't like, they're like, "What about this? Will you never tell us? You never report on this news about pocket, you know, Hindus being forced conversion? What are you I'm like? Yes, we do. Actually, actually, I love that they do because that gives the post more engagement, and we talk about it. Oh, That's yeah, the reason yeah. we talk about it. How common is this in Pakistan? Like, is this like a, like a, I, from what I heard? But I think I have heard from a biased sources and stuff because I'm in India. But from my uh, from what I heard, it's like not very uncommon. It's like happens regularly. Like even last week, uh, no, last last week we reported like the number of cases that happens in Pakistan. It's like huge. Um, yeah. So according to the movement for solidarity and peace, a human rights organization in Pakistan, about 1000 Christian and Hindu women are and girls are kidnapped every year. What? And forced to convert and marry. Wait, and the thousand, numbers, did you just say, did you say a thousand, thousand every year and the numbers are likely higher? Wait a minute. This is crazy. I thought it's like under 10 a year. And that would be a, that would be a tragedy on its own. Like I no. saw, like this is like two, three a year, and that's already really bad. A thou how is this not like a national emergency? This is crazy. This is way crazier than I thought. Yeah, are you guys sure? are usually between the ages of twelve and twenty-five. Yeah, the the source. I mean, the source that we used last time it was a Pakistani source, so. The, yeah, and, this is, the numbers were pretty. This similar. is a good, but this is a better source. This is. Forbes. So, what is uh, Susanna? What's your source? Um. So, well, in the Forbes article, they quote this organization, this human rights organization in Pakistan called Movement for Peace and Solidarity. Yeah, and, ARN is saying yeah as well, roughly one thousand a year, according to seemingly impartial sources. It's good that we're bringing, like uh, you guys are bringing like ARN is like saying seemingly. Says, see, ARN mm -hmm. is doing a good job saying that. Even if the sources are good, still, still remain skeptical, which is good. Um, it's fair to say, I'm, I'm going to say something that ARM probably disagrees. I just want to be very fair. Uh, this is the fault of Islam, but it's still not Islamic. Um, like, just, okay, so according to Islamic teachings, this is not okay. Okay? This is not okay. Forced conversions are not allowed in Islam. I mean, forced conversion. Actually, no, they're Hindu, so it is allowed. Actually, they okay. So let me. And Christians. Yeah, Christians and forced conversions in Christians and Jews are not allowed. Forced conversions in Hindus, they would say it's not allowed, but technically, the, your choices are conversions or death. So technically, that's forced conversion, because you could say like, "Well, you chose death. I didn't force you. You chose death, but that's forced conversion." So no, actually, mm -hmm. this is a shit. I was gonna, I was gonna try to be fair, but because they're Hindu and not Ahlul Kitab and not people of the book, this is allowed in Islam. Yeah, this is completely Islamic and is fucked and shit. Okay. 
this is amazing. Is, is okay. that the reason why, like, <clears throat> the number of like forced conversions for Hindus in Pakistan are way, way more than the number of forced conversions for Christians? Like, yeah, there are Christians who are forcefully converted, but the number no. of Hindus See, okay. being converted. Let are me, way let more. me, let's be clear. Let's be clear, okay? So, if you're Islamically, if you are Ahlul Kitab, people of the book, which is if you're Jewish or Christian. You get three choices, okay? But if you're not Ahlul Kitab, which means Hindu, Buddhist, atheist, you get two choices, okay? So if you're people of the book, the three choices are, either you convert to Islam, um, actually four, uh, you either you convert to Islam, or you leave the Islamic land, uh, or you die, or you pay extra taxes for not being Muslim, okay? So you get four choices. Islamically, um, if you are, hold on, let me show up on me. I'm gonna show up when you show up on because I'm getting too much background. This. If you are Buddhist, Hindu, or atheist, not not Christian or Jew, then you get either you either convert or you die. Okay, a lot of Muslims might deny this is the case, but this is these are the case. So you get fewer choices. So because these girls are Hindu, this is Islamic. Um, well, this girl was Christian. But it does happen. But oh, wait, this Both. girl is Christian? Yes, this girl. Yeah. Christian. Oh, okay. So never mind. Sorry. You don't. You didn't get to. Out Go of on. that thousand, there's the thousand that are for uh, the forced conversions and kidnapped, forced to convert and marry. There's Christians and Hindus in that mm. thousand, and the article that they're writing about the girl that they're writing about she's christian the 14 year old girl so what also to add to what you were saying like the jizya the banishment the conversion muslim men can marry christian or jewish women so i don't even know why they have to force them to convert well okay so this is what i say even here's the thing sometimes something is not islamic but it's still the fault of islam Right, because Islam had an influence, right? So sometimes Muslims do things that say, that you feel like, oh my God, that's insane, and you could actually point to the Hadith or the Quran and they're like, yeah, there, this is insane, and it's an Islamic teaching, right? Sometimes they do something insane that it's not the fault of Islam and it's not an Islamic teaching, but there's a middle ground. There's a middle ground that, is that sometimes they do something insane and horrific that is not Islamic teaching. But it is the fault of Islam because Islam had a major influence in making that the norm. So it's a middle of between Islam have nothing to do with it, and also Islam directly that di you know being directly because of Islam. There's a middle ground sometimes, right? So for example, honor killing, right? Honor killing, uh, like killing your own daughter because she has sex with somebody. There is no Islamic teaching for that. Okay, you can't find a hadith or a Quranic verse that said like, oh, you can kill your daughter yourself, you know, because she's like flirted with a boy, right? You can't do that, um, you know, with, uh, without the, like a judge or anything like that. But this is because of Islam. Even though there's no teaching, the honor culture of Islam had an influence of making this the norm in mostly Islamic societies. So... I'm still blaming Islam for that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of these cases are just not investigated. And, um, or if they are investigated, and they're forced to sell them out of court. And these girls often are not returned to their parents. Okay. Even after police wow. have gotten involved. Wait, the parents are like, were against this or they encourage like were they accepting like how is this this happening? girl was attacked when she was traveling from work and kidnapped at gun wow okay and she and bystanders she couldn't do anything because they were armed and were firing right. shots in the air see this would be more islamic if she was hindu than christian like if she was christian Again, if if she was Hindu, like even though she's Christian and it's technically not okay Islamically, I still blame Islam. But 
if she was Hindu, so I'm not defending Islam because it's horrific that if she was Hindu, this would be a okay Islamically, right? If she like right now, uh, you can't support what they're doing to this Christian girl Islamic uh, from Islamic sources. But if she was Hindu, this is how barbaric Islam is. Everything they did to this girl, if she was Hindu, would be completely a okay Islamically. I mean, it's not clear from this source or the story that they knew what her faith was, right? Right. They, they, they maybe didn't even know what her faith was. They just saw her and kidnapped yeah. her. They abducted her. Yeah. It's fucked. It's really fucked. Oh my God, 1,000 a year? Like, what the Pakistan? Like, oh yeah, spending Pakistan, go f arrest blasphemers, spend resources and taxpayer money and judges and media and all that and people that say something insulting about muhammad that's the best use of our resources one thousand people being abducted and forced conversion and married like yeah no that's okay like what the hell this would like imagine this is how bigoted the whole the rest of the world is if this was happening in many other countries this would be like it, headline international imagine if 1000 girls were abducted in the united states uh, and forced converted to christianity and forced into having sex with men like this would be like a global tragedy like how much attention would that get right but no apparently because these are muslims doing it in pockets and other people are like oh yeah it's just i guess this is horrible yeah okay yeah so sad that's it by forget tomorrow you forget about it and 1000 just reported cases i mean there are many others which aren't reported which which usually tend to be in south asia the unreported cases tend to be way higher than the reported ones see this is very interesting because they think we're the bigots but the people that are not reporting not calling out islam for its hatred and for its you know violence and for its bigotry they're they're the bigots because apparently these people's lives matter less than you know theirs anyways uh, rifka is agreeing wait am i might rifka am i might have you muted do you sorry did you want to say wait oh. no i just wanted to agree with you i feel like um oftentimes people will say like your point oh that's really sad but that's over there. That's just how they do. That's Same. the way they are. Yeah. And I and I just feel like it's really it is bigotry and a lot of the um cultural relativism is just disguised bigotry. So like what you expect for you and your family or your community human rights to be treated equally to, you know, not be abducted and forced conversions, all of those things. Well, if it happens to other people in some strange country and they're not like us, so, eh, you know. Right. And I feel like that's just their culture. It seems to me like it's bigotry of low expectations. Like this is all you can expect from these people. And that mm -hmm. is a horrible, bigoted Mm. prejudicial disgusting thing to say about a group of people so i just wanted to agree with yeah. you that isn't it, it, like, isn't it amazing just because like you're born in a different part of the world it's fine that our lives get fucked yeah and i mean it's not just people in the west who think like yeah they're they're they yeah they're doing their stuff we don't really care about them it's not just oh no Oops. we lost your pump Oh no! <laughs> Shabam is. Um, he was making a point. Right when he made the point, he got like he got disconnected. That's but brutal. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read Boogie Monsters, mom, because I think I just finally disagree with something she says. Saying, "Have you not heard about sex slaves in the U.S.? There's no religion involved, but there is just as many women, some children, and some men are either abducted or manipulated to death. I don't think Boogie Monster mom is. It, it, there's no way that it's even close." to the disaster that we have in Pakistan. Um, it's a different kind of disaster, but there's terrible yeah. human trafficking in the United States. Yeah, there is, but obviously it's a much bigger problem in countries like India and Pakistan, especially Pakistan. Um, you know, I mean, I, manipulating people is bad, 
it's very bad again now people are like oh my god armin is like making it seem like it's not a big deal it is a big deal but it's not as bad as like just going out and kidnapping people that's that's like come on a thousand and, a year go on. and sometimes religion is involved in sex right. trafficking right it's it, that does happen uh, Stoney is saying, as an ex-Muslim, I have zero patience for Western liberals who look the other way for this shit. Mm -hmm. um, to be clear, to be clear, it's fine if you want to focus on a certain harm. Like, for example, like you know, let's say that you're focusing on a certain harm in the West, and you, you know, maybe these other problems around the world is not part of your activism, right? Because you want to focus on a certain problem and you're like, this is the area that I'm going to focus on. I think that's fine. As long as you don't dismiss, you know, the pro like that problem where I have with some people is like, they're like, oh, women rights, equality for women in like, I don't know, Western countries. Like, yeah, fight for that, fight for that. And then when you look at like some Islamic countries, they're like, oh, no, that's okay because that's just their culture. That I have a problem with because you're dismissing the, that. But if you're like, yeah, that's also a problem, but my area of focus is here. I'm okay with that because not everybody could just care about every goddamn problem on the planet. Everybody has their area of passion and focus. It's okay if you want to focus, but don't dismiss other people's fight for their rights in other places. That's what I feel. Yeah. Anyways, uh, did you guys want to add anything before we end this? Any shout outs, any important things, or any comments on this last? I'm Googling the number of people sex trafficked in the US. Just curious. Yeah, but we have to, for Pakistan, that 1,000 abducted forced conversion is not just the only, the, the only sex trafficking. So you have to add the total of other sex trafficking in Pakistan on top of that. And then you have to adjust it per capita. Pretty sure the problem is much worse in countries like Pakistan. Than United it States. says it is estimated that the number of children who are at risk or have already been pulled into the sex trade would fill 1,300 school buses. Yeah. But that's an estimate. But yeah. So, for again, then we have to do adjust per capita and add other, like, we're, we're talking about kidnapping and forced conversion. That's not a fair Yeah, I was just curious yeah, to see yeah, what yeah. the numbers were. Yeah. All right. Um, if, you, if we're wrong, just comment in the you know, comment section. We're going, Susanna. Make sure to slap that like button like, like button. it's 0434. <laughs> yes, and also subscribe. And also unlike. If you don't like our videos, just click on unlike. And also share. And also subscribe to our newsletter. And comment. Tell us how we're being an idiot. Tell us why we're wrong. Tell us how we're ignorant and don't understand anything we're talking about and should just end this, end what we're doing and go do something else and all of that great stuff. And how uh, cute Susanna and I are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, um, or if you enjoy this, you can support us by becoming a patron for as little as $1 a month. Yes, and then you link. can join us on Patreon calls. Yes, link in the description to all of that and more, and the sources to every news that we talked about. A lot of people are like, "Oh, where's the source? Why are you not providing any source?" Like, I'm not going to even answer you. Like, you didn't even spend five seconds to check that we, if we provide the source or not. So I'm not even going to bother five seconds to respond to you. So yeah, uh, but I just did. So never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna end this here before it gets too long. Love you guys, and talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel. Why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. 
you may, we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way, okay? So, yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share! Share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.